Hey guys, I'm Jen and welcome to Wild About Watercolour. Um, I'm a watercolour artist, I love to draw and I specialise in wild animals. Um, so today I'm going to paint for you two little meerkats that are very cute and I'm going to do them quite simply, they're quite easy. I'm using my Sennelia watercolours. Um, I'm going to draw with my Faber-Castell 0.5 uh, mechanical pencil and I'm using my silver black velvet paint brushes in a few different sizes which I'll talk about when I'm doing it. Anyway, here we go with the start of my drawing. So these guys are so cute. I'm just going to do their heads and their little arms today. So they're so cute. I first drew these on the plane. I was coming back from New Zealand the other day and I'd never done a meerkat before. And um, yeah, when I, I drew a couple on the plane on the flight, they were really cute and they were really fun to do. So I thought, hmm, I might have a go at a painting of these little dudes. So, you know, excuse the corrections here and there. I'm using my um, Stillman and Byrne Beta Series watercolour or mixed media book and I absolutely love this book because it's um, uh, what do you call it archival quality so if you do do a sketch and you really love it you can take it out and frame it or you can just leave it in the book whichever one you prefer which I do a lot I've got books and books and books and books and books and I leave them all in there and unless there's something that really jumps out at me in which case I pull it out and stick it in a frame and and keep it on my shelf Anyway, so I'm working from a reference picture that I got off Pixabay, Pixabay Pixels, one of the free online research photograph things, So, which is really handy for all my wildlife work because um, I don't get a chance to get out to the zoos or anything very much. And excuse those noises in the background, that's my Jack Russell who's decided he wants to play ball, who's sitting under my desk as we speak. Um, so you'll probably hear thumping and bumping and the odd snorty noise, but yeah, that's Bear. And I have Bear and Pip, who are my two Jack Russells, who love to help me do my artwork, usually. <laughs> They're all my, my constant companions. So yeah, so I'm just doing a basic outline. I'm not going to a whole lot of intricate detail. Um, and I like to leave my pencil drawings, like I don't rub them out when I'm doing my watercolours, I leave them so you can see the lines. Uh, just my way of doing things, I think. And yeah, so these little dudes are pretty cute. So see, as you can see, it's just a very, very simple drawing. And you'll be surprised how simple it is to paint because they're just a basic little outline. Let's get this, and the shapes are really quite easy on these guys. And that's all, that's all I'm gonna do. Excuse my bear dog barking. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do for the, the outlines. And now we can start to paint. So these guys seem to have a bit of a golden undertone. Bear! A bit of a golden undertone to their coat. Bear! Stop it! So I'm just gonna go on. It'll take a few layers, but I'll go on with a very light coat of yellow ochre. I can go over the whole thing because they don't really have a lot of light on them. Actually, you can go over the whole thing because they don't have any light. Their highlights can be this goldy colour. So I'll go over the whole thing with a very light wash and my silver black velvet three triple zeros is nice and simple and I think my kids are just about to walk into the house so excuse me hello kids I'm up in the office and I'm recording hello. that's okay I'm just doing it sort of chatting at the same time and the dogs have been making noises so it's all good <laughs> so excuse the the background noise but yeah so it's just wet in wet and <laughs> it's all right Nene. No, no. so yeah it's just wet in wet and I'm just doing their little sort of goldy patches under their bellies 
just all still yellow ochre, just thicker consistencies, which is easy peasy. And then I go in, I mix a bit of grey. So for grey, I make up a burnt umber, burnt umber, and a bit of ultramarine blue, and that's a bit too watery, so we'll try again. Burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine, and that makes quite a nice brownie grey. And then we go in around the schnoz, nose, Oops, a bit thick, but that's right, we can thin that out, drag it out. And um, just move it around a little bit so it doesn't matter, it's quite forgiving. Um, go up to the head, they've got a bit there. And we can always, if we lose the highlights, we can always go in and add a little bit of white gouache at the end. Oops, a bit of white gouache at the end. And just get those highlights back, so that's not a problem at all. So just adding the grey where the grey bits are. You can see it's drying quite quickly here. We haven't got a terribly cold day here. It's winter here, but we're about, probably about 15 odd degrees, which is, I'm not sure what, we're centigrade, so I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. But um, this will quite, this will fade out quite a bit to a um, lighter shade. And then I'll be able to come back in with a bit of dark as well. Um, so yeah, just got to try and keep the edges as soft as I can. So I just move them around with a little bit of water. I don't mind cauliflowers and stuff. It's a bit of, a bit of texture. So yeah, so just soften up those edges a little bit. Right, now I'll let that dry just for a fraction. I might go back in with a little bit of, what's that? That's Payne's Grey. So, and just darken up these ears a little bit. Just let it go wet into wet. It'll move itself around. Oops, it's probably a bit much, but that's okay. I can touch that with a bit of cloth, like that, bit of kitchen towel. Oops, that's all right. I can still move it around again. Do that. There we go. And I might leave that alone for a bit and get my silver black velvet three triple zero and just do his eyeballs leaving the little highlight you can see I've marked a little triangly shape so I'll do that for his eye so it's a very tiny little brush this one but it's does the job just nicely so I'll do the other eye on that little guy ah! <laughs> not to worry we'll just do that we'll mop that out a bit should have waited, shouldn't I? That's what you get for being impatient. Try again. Whoops. And just mop that up at the bottom. Doesn't really matter. I can go over that in a little bit. Like that. That's his little eye. That's alright. I'd use a hair dryer, but I'd probably blow your eardrums off, which wouldn't be good. Anyway, so that's all good. Do that. I'm making a bit of a mess of it here, but that's okay. Okay. So I'll touch that up again a bit later. And I've got to go back in with a bit more grey. So I'll make up a little bit more burnt umber and a little bit more ultramarine blue. Like that. And then I go around the eye. Probably a little bit more burnt umber, make it a bit brownier. Bit of a brownie and grey like that and then do they've got a quite a dark patch around their eyes like that like that and then that goes to their nose I'll mop that bit up it goes around to their nose around their mouth All goodly. So then, take that up. They've got a little bit up near their eye. I'm just going to drag that out a bit, just to take the colour across his little face, just a little bit, so it blends a little bit more. 
makes it a less harsh line. There we go, it's going to be better, isn't it? And then I do a bit onto his chest. So again, with that burnty, burnt umber and ultramarine. Ooh, I have a hair. Get that out of there. Burnt umber and ultramarine again. And just take that down onto his legs and his chest. I'm not going to worry about their little hands or anything. So, and there's a bit of a shadow here, so that'll create a little bit of contrast with the other dude. Yeah, I've got to go back in, and they're a bit, he's a bit darker down here. I've got to go back in and fix his eye, because it's driving me a bit nuts right about now. So, I will do that. So, do that, take it down there a bit. And I can always come back in, even though it's watercolour, I can come back in with a... Oops, 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 oops with a little bit of yellow ochre, pick that up and um, add a bit of colour back in and I can always touch this up after. My goodness, what have I done to his eyeball? <laughs> anyway, I can fix that up. Let's take that off and try it out, shall I? Try again. I think I've got my brush too wet, that's half the problem. But that's okay, so I'll go back onto the other guy's eye. And I will get a little bit of burn umber, ultramarine blue, and do the same around his eye, give him that contrast that they've got. A little bit of fur colour change around their eyes. And take that again onto his nose. I'm still using the triple zero, 3000 silver black velvet brush, because it's quite handy for these small little faces. And I tend to stick with a brush. I don't tend to change my brushes a whole lot. You know, unless I'm doing a big, a big um, wash. That's about it. That's the only time I'd really change. Go back in with a bit of burnt umber and a bit of ultramarine. You can't see my palette, but I've got to figure out how to <laughs> make the film bigger so that you guys can see what my, my palette looks like. It's probably not a bad thing. It's a bit messy at the moment. Um, but yeah, so... Coming back in on his chin with this bit of shadow, bit of lip, got to do his little mouth. Do his little mouth. Oops, get a bit more on the brush. I've got the brushes a bit light on paint. So get some more paint on there. But I'm mainly working on damp or wet paper. So just go around. And this paper holds up really well. I love this stuff. Um, go around the eye again, get a bit of darker paint, so a bit of, I do his ear, yeah, there is a quite dark and fuzzy. So I'll go back into the middle of his ear with a bit of dark. That's um, Payne's Grey, which I think is nicer than a black, it's got a bit more life in it. Then a bit more dark around the eye, oops, got a drip of water on there, a bit more dark around the eye. Like that. It's looking a bit better. Now go back in oops, and draw his little nose. Oops, sorry, I'm bumping the camera every so often because that's because I've got it set up on a tripod -y thing and it's near my head, which is probably not the best of ideas, but it's working for now. Ew. Drag it all out. And there's a bit more. I'll put a bit more. Get going back to my silver black velvet eight size eight. Um, yellow ochre. Where are you, yellow ochre? Oh, there you are. Okay, found it. It's always a good thing. Go into there. Maybe darken up, strengthen up the colour a little through his body, and take it back through that grey colour because they're quite orangey coloured little critters. They're very cute. So take that back through. They've got quite a bit of grey there but I'm going to use my artistic licence and make it a little bit darker. Just a 
the beauty of art, you can make it how you want it. And I'm going to go back into this other little dude with a bit of, whoops, a bit of yellow ochre. Like that. And take it down his little leggies. Bit of grey, let that run in. Like that. Doesn't matter if it cauliflowers, that all adds to the texture of their fur. Like that. Hold that up a little bit. These brushes hold an awful lot of water, which is quite good most of the time. <laughs> Unless you're like me and you have clumsy moments and you put too much water on the paper. Okay, so let's take that out a little bit. Get back onto that other one's little eye, I reckon. A bit more grey around the back here, I think. Just take that so it doesn't look so so much of a shock of patch around the eye. And they do have little stripy bits on their backs. So I'll just add some little stripes like that. And that's all you've got to do. Just really subtle little stripes. This one's got a bit of a shadow under his neck so I'll add that and add a bit darker down into here like that. Put a little bit more yellow ochre just under his chinny bit and in his cheeky bit like that. His ears actually hidden behind the other meerkat, so I'm not going to worry about trying to draw in his ear. So now I'm just going to go back in with my what I've been saying was a three triple O S, but it's actually a size two. I was reading the wrong bit, as you do. So now I'm going to go back in and just do his little eyeball. Now it's dried a little bit and it won't go and end up everywhere all over his head like it was doing before. And then I can go around his eye a little bit, like that, and it just brings his eye out quite nicely. And do the other one, oh, might wait for the other one. Let it dry a little bit. Don't be, be patient, Jennifer. Don't be in a rush. Do the other one's eye. You can see, you can see they're quite quick to do. Anyway, I'm going to go in and do the other one. I can't wait. <laughs> so I'll do the other eye. Go in, around, like that. And there's his little eye. So they're starting to look like they've got little personalities. And I'll just go in here with a bit of a dot, like sort of just soft brush strokes to try and get some look about him. And then add a bit of fuzzy te texture for his fairy bits. Go back into this one, a little bit of fuzzy bits around his neck. A bit of fuzzy bits. Oops, I might have to go a bit darker. Just around this top of this eye, I reckon. Just a bit, like that. Give it a bit more depth in that eyeball. Like that. And then a bit of fur there, just do little tiny brush strokes like that. Go back in with a little bit of maybe a little bit of raw sienna this time, just around the back of the head to get a bit of just a little bit of different colour. And go like that. Put a bit of raw sienna just around his cheek like that it's a bit cute and i might go back to my silver black velvet eight size eight with the raw sienna a bit of a damp brush and do that and just add a bit more this gives him a bit more dimension i reckon take that down the back of his leg do his little belly the strikes of the stripes have faded right back but i think they look pretty good and then Go into the other little dude with a bit of raw sienna and he's a little bit damp so that won't hurt him. A little bit damp and go like that. Put a little bit of raw sienna on his schnoz, on his nose rather. I could call it a schnoz because I call their noses a schnoz. Take it up his leg. Just give him a bit of definition like that. Oops, a bit of water fell off my brush. Anyway, I reckon I've got to put a little bit a little bit of burnt umber 
around his eyes just because they're not they don't have white around their eyes they seem to have dark little no little eyeballs and then do a little blob for his nose for his actual nostril bits I might give him a little bit more definition around his ear fluff so I'll go back in with a thicker mix of burnt umber and ultramarine and just fuzzy those up a bit like that because they don't have hard ears they've got soft fuzzy wuzzy ears so I'll just do that and I might give him a little ear you can't see it in the picture but I'm giving him one so that's that a little bit more line there and I reckon we're done anyway thank you for watching this video it's been lots of fun um, yeah so if you like the video click on the, the little thumb and if you want to subscribe hit the little bell and I'll see you for the next video okay thanks guys bye